the European Commission listed among the BAT best available techniques for limiting industrial pollutant discharges. This is the tail gas stack of a nitric acid plant. But there's no sign of the typical tail gas plume. It's as if the plant had shut down. Far from it. Every day, 2,400 metric tons of ammonium nitrate fertilizer leave the factory. We're in Abu Kia, near Alexandria in Egypt. Altogether, Uda has built four fertilizer plants here in the last few decades. One of them, Abu Kia II, produces the ammonium nitrate using one of the largest single-train nitric acid plants in the world. The reason the sky remains blue, despite the enormous output, is due to this inconspicuous reactor at the foot of the absorption column. Envinox, the acclaimed process from Uda, helping to improve the world's climate. Acclaimed because the unobtrusive reactor can, in a single stage, block the emission of climate-damaging pollutants, which, for instance here in Abu Kia, equate to the output of more than half a million cars. And it does so without affecting the daily production of 2,400 tonnes of ammonium nitrate fertiliser. But that's not all. Abu Kia Fertilisers also earns money with the Envinox reactor. But first things first. The initial stage of nitric acid production involves converting a mixture of ammonia and oxygen into nitrogen monoxide on a platinum gauze in huge burners. Various other nitrogen compounds are produced in the process, including large quantities of N2O, nitrous oxide, commonly known as laughing gas, a climate killer, 300 times more harmful than CO2, carbon dioxide, and it remains in the atmosphere for over a hundred years. A challenge for Uda's researchers. A change of scene. We're in Portugal at the chemical division of the Compania Uniao Fabril, CUF. A nitric acid plant designed by Uda is almost ready to start up. Just one thing is missing. Located downstream of the actual production facility and the tail gas flow, the Envinox reactor. The core element of the reactor is just being installed. A fine-poured, gas-permeable cylinder filled with the all-important catalyst, which is what allows Envinox to develop its sensational cleaning effect. The catalyst, a successful development by Uda researchers working in conjunction with Zudchemi, is able to effectively separate nitrous oxide into harmless nitrogen and oxygen. Its composition remains a secret. The zeolite catalyst itself discloses only one small detail. The redness results from its iron content. And something else. In an even simpler version, the catalyst eliminates nitrogen oxides, which are implicated in acid rain and smog. Which means that basically what Uda has developed is a reactor that will simultaneously eliminate N2O and nitrogen oxides. The shape and size of the reactor varies from plant to plant. Its design is determined by the tail gas composition, the rate of flow, temperature and pressure conditions. The aim remains the same, to reduce pollutant emissions by virtually 100% with as small a reactor as possible. Back to Portugal. The catalyst is just being filled into the cylinder. What perhaps appears here to be quite a simple process is the result of a complex development program started by Uda over 10 years ago. Uda engineers use advanced kinetic models in order to compute the complex reactions which are initiated by the Envinox catalyst. Sophisticated optimization tools calculate the most effective reactor and catalyst geometries. The result? Highly efficient Envinox systems which are optimally geared to the individual plant and produce maximum cleaning performance. Reference projects throughout the world provide proof on a daily basis that the efficacy of the Uda Envinox process is almost 100%.
In some plants, it's virtually impossible to detect traces of N2O or nitrogen oxides. How do we know? Quite simply, just as in Abukia, each Envinox plant has a special monitoring container where the tail gas values before and after the Envinox reactor are measured in real time. Any deviation from the norm would be noticed immediately, but the figures speak for themselves. The tail gas values before entering the Envinox reactor and those after leaving the reactor. Permanent efficiency 99.4% or better. The data obtained are also required as official documentation of the amounts of N2O and nitrogen oxides destroyed because they translate into hard cash and, in addition, generate remarkable global constellations. An example, this donkey cart in Abu Kia can now get into town on a paved road much faster than it could before. It has profited from the use of the Envinox reactor in the same way as this power station a couple of thousand kilometers further north. The electricity producer meets its obligation to reduce pollutant emissions by taking advantage of the improved air quality in Abu Kia. And it does so by trading emission rights, a system by which the UN Clean Development Mechanism compensates plant operators in the third world who have drastically reduced their pollutant discharges, for example, with an Envinox reactor. And there's more. A small percentage of the millions earned is automatically earmarked for social projects. In the near future, in Abu Kia, a canal contaminated with industrial effluent is to be rehabilitated. This street cleaner is also paid from the extra income. And the road into town now has an asphalt surface, not just for the use of the donkey cart. In Egypt, a completely new self-awareness is becoming apparent. No doubt that when we have the unit uh, like that, we prove our civilized behavior and we prove uh, that we are respecting the environmental which we are living in. We have clean product, we have safe environment uh, around here and there. And uh, we consider, or I myself consider, that one of the best projects which we have in the last 10 years to have a unit uh, like that in our premises. Implementing climate change, attaining climate protection goals, improving the quality of life in the developing countries. And all thanks to an ingenious development by UDA scientists and engineers. Envinox.